Are you headed for a sleep divorce? We're not talking about Splitsville entirely. It's about sleeping separately for the sake of getting a good night's sleep. Your partner is a great guy. He takes out the garbage, changes light bulbs, and even takes your mom to the nail salon. But when day turns to night, watch out. He turns into the Texas chainsaw snorer. You roll out of bed the next morning exhausted and irritable, only to be met with, what's wrong with you? What is a sleep divorce? It's an agreement between two partners to sleep separately. This can mean different rooms or separate beds in the same room. The goal is to ensure a good night's sleep, so you feel happier and more content within your relationship. It can be a temporary or a long-term fix. However, you should talk to your doctor about these nighttime disruptions, as any abnormal activity, whether it's snoring, restless legs, sleepwalking, or movements, can be a symptom of a sleep disorder. How to plan a sleep divorce. Number one, communicate. Introduce the idea of a sleep divorce without playing the blame game. Remember, this is your ace boon, your boo, and he's not willingly disrupting your sleep. Keep an open mind and be flexible. What's key is that you keep your eye on the prize, sleep. Number two, get creative. A sleep divorce is different for every couple. Maybe you share a bed on the weekends or sleep in a different bed in the same room. What's important is that you keep communication open and remember to check back in occasionally to make sure you're still on the same page. Number three, prioritize intimacy. You'll have to make certain efforts to keep the flame alive, like planning activities before or after you wake up. Reserve time to cuddle or have breakfast in bed. It's up to you and your partner to redefine intimacy within your relationship. Number four, trust your relationship. Remember, the goal is to get quality sleep so that you can be the cheerful person you're meant to be. Your sleep arrangement may be unconventional. However, it's nobody's concern what you choose to do. Just think how happy and well-rested you'll feel. If your nosy neighbor is asking you why you look so great, keep her wondering. Remember, your partner's disruptive sleep behavior may be a symptom of a sleep disorder that may also be affecting their sleep and health. A sleep divorce is a sensible approach for managing sleep quality, but it shouldn't take the place of diagnosis or be used as a band-aid approach for better sleep. Help is available.